Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Dentistry with Noor Saira. Today we are going to learn the maxillary nerve and its branches just under 3 minutes. If you are new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Maxillary nerve is the second branch of trigeminal nerve which is the fifth cranial nerve. It arises from the trigeminal ganglion, runs forward in the lateral wall of cavernous sinus just below the ophthalmic nerve and leaves the middle cranial fossa by passing through the foramen rotunda. Now, next the nerve crosses the upper part of pterygopalatine fossa beyond which it is continued as the infraorbital nerve. So basically maxillary nerve is a complete sensory nerve unlike the mandibular nerve which is a mixed nerve it has both the sensory and the motor component but the maxillary nerve just has the sensory component which leaves the middle cranial fossa through foramen rotunda so how do we remember this we remember this with a simple mnemonic by taking the m of maxillary nerve the s of sensory in the r of rotundum that is make some rice mummy the reason why i have added mummy here is that i need you to remember that before the maxillary nerve leaves the foramen rotundum it gives out a branch called as the meningeal branch now, after that, it leaves the foramen rotundum to enter into the pterygopalatine fossa. In the pterygopalatine fossa, the nerve is intimately related with the pterygopalatine ganglion, as you can see with the red arrow on the diagram, where it gives out ganglionic branches to the pterygopalatine ganglion and then further gives out the zygomatic branches which in turn branch into zygomaticotemporal and zygomaticofacial and another branch that it gives out is the posterior superior alveolar nerve now how do we remember this we take the g from ganglionic branches the z from the zygomatic branches and p from the posterior superior alveolar branches and the mnemonic to remember this is go to zebra point go uh, denoting the ganglionic branches and the pterygopalatine ganglion two denoting the two and z denoting the two branches of zygomatic uh, nerves and p denoting the posterior superior alveolar nerve after which the nerve enters into the infraorbital canal and in the infraorbital canal as you can see with the red arrow it gives out two branches that is the middle superior alveolar branches and the anterior superior alveolar branches to remember this let us see, take the m of middle superior alveolar branches the anterior and a of anterior superior alveolar branches and the c of uh, infraorbital canal and you can remember this as mac after which the nerve leaves through the infraorbital foramen and gives out three branches that is the palpebral, nasal and the labial and the easy way to remember this is taking the P from palpebral, N from nasal and L from labial and to remember this the mnemonic is please no laughter. I hope this video has been beneficial to you. For more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. For more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.